here to start off the basics of spreadsheets for CS170. Uh, so we'll go through the basic setups here. Um, on the left hand side you see the uh, PowerPoint presentation or PDF and on the right hand side you see a, a sample spreadsheet which I'm going to save at the end of the session uh, into our Canvas uh, lecture uploads so you'll be able to get that later. Uh, so let's uh, let's get kicked off here. All right. So at the beginning part of this, uh, there's a number of different topics we're going to cover under spreadsheets. Uh, so you'll get a chance to look through all of these uh, when you pull it through your uh, upload section uh, under my lectures. Um, so I'll just run through these. Okay. So don't get too worried. There's a lot of stuff to cover, but we'll break it up into different sections here. So here, going into uh, why do we use spreadsheets, um, and you see here we're working with sample1.xls, uh, which I will have saved for you at the end of this lecture. So here we go. So what we have here is uh, some sample data. This is very typical uh, types of data you'll be working with in a, in a spreadsheet. Um, so across the top, you'll have some labels that cover the different categories. Um, and then uh, going down the bottom, you can look at this sheet. It's basically um, a number of different items, uh, shoes, scarf, shirt, and pants, uh, with some prices, uh, some quantities purchased, so on and so forth. Um, and the rest of this sheet will cover various aspects. But I'm going to move over here to the spreadsheet right now. Um, and we'll work with that a little bit, okay? And just try to fill this in a little bit. Um, so first thing you'll notice, uh, we've basically just keyed in all of these uh, fields uh, or cells, um, but now we wanna kinda tidy them up a little bit. So first thing we might wanna do is you see how some of these columns, uh, the text is kinda getting cut off and whatnot. So we should probably make these uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, so one thing you can do is you can go to the edges here in between the cells and I can double click it and then it'll just make the cell fit the size of this uh, in this case tax amount is the largest one. Uh, but you know let's say we have a whole bunch of columns that we want to try to get this uh, fixed for. So there might be an easier way to do this. Let's highlight all of these columns here and then Let's go ahead and double click them and you'll see all of them kind of get fixed. Okay, so this kind of in one shot you can size up all of the columns accordingly. Uh, if you decide that you still want to keep things in a certain way, maybe you might want to make this two, uh, two lines instead, that's fine, uh, two rows I guess. Um, you can do that. Uh, if you want to make one in particular a little bit bigger, so on and so forth. So that's one thing we can do. Now the other thing is um, right now you can see all of these cells <coughs> the characters and the heading uh, the characters are the same font, same size and whatnot. So but probably it's uh, more useful to the user if we can have all of these at the top uh, stand out a little bit. So one thing we can do, let me move this over a little bit Okay, so let me take all of these and let's say I want to kind of make it a little bit nicer. So we look at these cell styles here and maybe I want to do a heading one and you can see what happens here. You can see the item and price and so on and so forth. Kind of got it all uh, kind of highlighted, underlined and kind of stand out a little bit. Maybe we want to take all of these. Maybe we want to set the background color. So you can set the background color. Maybe we make it just like this uh, lighter color here. Right? And this kind of makes this whole top section stand out relative to the bottom. Okay? Uh, here on the left, maybe we want to take these and we want to bold these up just like that. Okay? And maybe I want to do this. Uh, I can even kind of drag it over a little bit more and let's say I want to maybe center these guys. Okay, that's one way I can do that. 
Now, see these prices here, uh, usually you would think about these in terms of dollars. Uh, so maybe we want to highlight all of these guys here and we want to apply this dollars here. Uh, here is a quantity, which is fine. I think we don't have to do anything with that. Um, and then here uh, we have the price, the total price. Um, so the way this was originally keyed in, we had uh, this total price here. But actually, I think to kind of make things better in the future, if you want to update things, uh, we don't want to do that. We want to actually make these formulas. So what I can do is I can do an equal, and I'm going to take this cell, which is B2. You can see the B and the 2. Uh, and then we want to multiply it times this cell, which is the quantity. This is C2. And you can see we get $32 there. Okay, so that kind of carries over nicely. And here, instead of me typing this over and over again, I'm going to just take this little corner section, this bottom uh, right hand section, I'm going to click on that and drag that down. And automatically you'll see these formulas just keep on going down. So it's basically taking this from a relative perspective. You can see that B2C2, right? The, the formula all of a sudden it knows to adjust become B3C3. And so on and so forth. You got B4 and C4, and then B5, C5. Alright, so this is what we call relative uh, reference. So this kind of brings all the cells down and knows to adjust uh, the numbers accordingly, uh, which case it's uh, keeping the same column, but each of the row numbers are changing. All right, so that carries the formula down for you. Now this this count here, um, you know, mathematically it's correct, but I think we want to look at this in terms of percentage. So I go up here, and I'll make that percentage. Okay, so we're going to have a discount: ten percent, twenty percent, fifteen percent, and thirty percent. All right, but let's see what that price would be. So again, we're going to look at this price and we're going to say take this total price and do this discount here. So I'm going to do this, right, which is the original price minus um, this price times 10%. Times 10 percent, right? And that gives you a price of 28.80, right? And I can look back over here to my PowerPoint to confirm that I've done this right. Now I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna drag it all the way down. And there you go. You have all these discounted prices. And again, you notice how the uh, cell references are adjusting as I go down. Right, so the column stays the same, uh, and each of the row uh, automatically adjusts. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I hit the escape, and, and I'm back there. Okay. All right. So here, this is interesting. This tax amount. All right. So uh, kind of need to know this tax amount. Um, they give you the amount here, but I'm thinking we can actually figure this out. Uh, and make this more flexible in the future. Okay, so maybe uh, I would put like a tax amount here for the user to know which tax amount I'm actually applying, uh, and then later on uh, we can adjust accordingly. Um, so for now, let's see what this tax amount would be. I'm going to say equals this uh, divided by that. Okay, uh, so that looks like it should be a seven percent, right? So if I click on this percentage, it's seven percent. Okay, so that's what our that's what our tax rate is. Okay, and I just took that by taking the amount that I see uh, and dividing it over, uh, putting it over uh, the price to calculate what the tax amount is. Um, so maybe actually I'll do another thing here. Uh, let me put this on the side here. Let's say 
tax rate, and then I'll say 0.07, uh, and then I'll put a percentage here. Then what I'll do is I'll do a equals that price times seven percent. Oops, didn't do that. Uh, made a mistake there. So this equals this times the tax rate. Okay. And let me fix this. Okay. So we have two dollars and two cents, which is what this price times the tax rate equals to. Okay. Now, if I just copy this straight down, we're going to have a problem, right? Because this tax rate here that I'm making a reference to, I'm not having it all the way down here. So, okay, one way I can do is I could put a 7% all the way down, and as I copy this, all the rules will adjust and copy that. But there's probably a better way to do this. And what I want to do is I want to actually make sure that as I carry the formula all the way down, I want to keep the part that's referring to the tax rate to be the same, which is this K7. Uh, and so that's what you call an absolute cell reference. And what you have to do to make that work is you have to put a dollar sign in front of it. And you have to put a dollar sign in front of both of these variables. right? So both the K and the 7, you have to put a dollar in front of it. So that keeps it fixed at a K7. Okay, so it's still here, still two dollars and two cents. Uh, now I'm gonna drag this down just like so. Alright, so now you can see uh, K7 is staying fixed all the way. Okay, uh, so that's what you mean by absolute cell reference. Alright, um, so that's something that we can work on a little bit later. Um, the other thing that we want to finish now is we want the total due. Okay, so the total due, we'll do that. Um, you have to discount the price and you have the tax that you're going to add on top of it. So you do a, that and then you do a plus and you do that. Alright, so you have 3082 and that looks right there. Total due and I'm going to click on the bottom here, drag it down, and that carries the formula down as we've seen in the previous examples here. Okay, so that kind of fills out this table nicely uh, from where you started before. Okay, uh, later on you might be thinking, oh, I want to see all of these formulas. What do those formulas look like? So you're going to basically hit uh, control tilde, okay, let me make this a little bit wider. All right. You can scroll a little bit. And you can see all the formulas that were applied. All right. So it's a nice way to just uh, spot check, make sure you can see all the formulas look OK. Um, they're what you expect here. The tax amount, you can see we've got the fixed uh, or absolute reference here. Okay, uh, and then revert it back. You just hit Control and tilde again uh, to come back to what we had before. Okay, um, so let's go through the PowerPoint through the basic section uh, and let's see what that looks like. See if we've covered all the different points on making this sheet uh, look good. Okay, uh, so yeah. You got the titles, which we did. I took the title across. Uh, you got different things you can apply in terms of bold. Uh, you can wrap on the text. You can expand the column width. Right? So this is what we were doing here. Uh, so you can see the bold here. Uh, you can see different things that you can do here. Um, you know, this is like how to align it. You can align it left, right, center. Uh, you can also uh, align it high, middle, low. Uh, if you have like these cells are kind of a little bit bigger like that. 
I think for this we don't have to get too crazy with it. Okay. Um, you can see here we have things for currency, tax percentages. Um, in this case, uh, we were looking at things at two decimal places. Uh, we can do different things here. Uh, you can see over here we can do increase and decrease of the decimals. Okay. Um, so let me just do this guy here. So you can see that. Uh, in this case, we want the quantities to be whole number, so that's fine. We leave it at that. Um, and as I referred to you before, the cell style. So I only did this up here, but you can apply cell styles for a number of different things. Um, so you can play around with this on your own. Okay. All right, so we did the column change. Uh, we had the format for the columns. We can copy and paste. Um, so let's say I want to do something like this. So I highlight all these cells, uh, and you can do a cut, copy, and paste. It's almost like what we've done in other exercises with your code, uh, in your text editors, and whatnot. Uh, you know, you can do this copy here. You can do a Control C. Um, let's do this while we're here on the GUI, and then I'll just come over to here. I could do a right mouse, um, and so you can paste it with just the text itself, or you can paste it with the formulas. Um, so before we were just kind of copying the formulas because we want to copy the formulas uh, with the relative or absolute, um, and in this case we're just covering some copying some numbers, so it doesn't matter but we'll just do a regular paste here. Uh, but there's other times you may want to copy and paste with or without the for underlying formula. So it depends on what you want to do. Um, and you just get that. Okay. Uh, so we don't need this anymore. We're just playing around here. So I'm going to just go to clear contents here. And that clears it out. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we have the various formatting, percentage, currency, text, column, decimals. Uh, we have the clear cells that we just did. But I want to delete some rows and columns, insert them. All right, so I'll basically click on here. So let's say I want to get rid of this row 10 for whatever reason. I'll just click on it, and I can do a delete. I can also do an insert too. All right, but let's do a delete. In this case, you don't see much. Actually, I should maybe put something in here so you can see what's going on okay so in this case I'm going to delete this row here so I'll delete it and it becomes that let me clear the contents here and likewise if you want to do a column you can do something similar right you can do this and you can take it out right delete insert stuff like that uh, so that's fairly straightforward um, actually, the other thing while I'm here, I can remember, let's do um, data. So here, I'm just going to highlight all of these guys here. Then I'm going to click on data, and I'm going to apply filter here. Okay, so once you get to this point, uh, there's a number of things you can work off of here. Um, and I can I can show you just by going to here okay so you'll notice down here at the bottom I can filter things out so you can almost treat this sort of like a maybe a little bit of a database um, so maybe I I don't want to see scarf for some reason and that just takes it out All right so you can see column uh, row 2 row 4 it just basically takes away the one reference here uh, but let's put the scarf back in and we're back to here the other thing we can do is we can do various types of sorting sorting oh one thing is you can do uh, like this search here all right so you can do like a uh, control F or a search and you'll look through this whole sheet uh, or in this case you can just look uh, in this particular column all right so if you had a very large sheet you get a whole bunch of info that you want to search through. You can do something like that. Um, you can do this sort here. So let's 
make this a little bit more interesting where we just sort uh, from high to low and you can see right we're going from shoes down to pants right so it's alphabetically from high to low let's flip it around and you're there okay um, so that's some sorting here uh, yeah that's about it here uh, on the number side you can do uh, smallest to largest right but similar idea let's do this guy here and remember when you're doing this sorting you're taking everything you sort you're not just sorting the one column uh, of stuff so all of these you'll see how this kind of moved around too um, so let's do that okay so that's sorting off this so you can do this after you apply the filters here you can do various uh, filtering of the records here you can also do some sorting of the records here okay so we covered formulas here right so you can see these are the formulas we did there uh, we did uh, some copy and paste we did some fills All right, and then showing the formulas. Okay, um, now we have some sorting, right, which we, we did before. Um, so yeah, I mean we can do some uh, different functions associated with these too. Um, so let's look for maybe let's look for the highest price. So that's like max, right? So we can do equals and there's a couple of things we can look at but here is like this insert function right so some of these formulas you're gonna be very familiar with you can just type them right I can uh, type like that and you'll see it right uh, or I can do this um, and then you can kind of see in this case here you can see a max right so let's see max uh, and then I want to look at the range okay um, so yeah so this kind of lines up already just like that okay mm. All right so now you can see the price and we just took the max of it similarly you can do something with min right there's a whole bunch of different functions you can look at um, let me do this uh, so you can do things like median uh, I just hit M so you can see a whole bunch of different formulas here a uh, lot to select from uh, you can play around with that on your own, but the common things will be looking for the average, the min, the max, uh, stuff like that. Um, when you look at this, uh, you know, help or whatever, you'll be able to search uh, through the formulas. Uh, you can see here uh, they have some groupings of the formulas here that could be helpful. Okay, you can see like date time. Okay. So statistical uh, for the assignment, um, you have things like standard deviation and whatnot. Um, so uh, you can play around with all of these, and uh, they're they're pretty useful. A lot of built-in functions you can use. Of course, you can always uh, build out your own functions also. Okay. All right, so this just goes into talking about some more different types of functions. Uh, so different, uh, different counting uh, types of functions that are available. Uh, so I'm not going to go into uh, the if clause right now. Uh, we'll pick that up in a separate lecture. So this is just the first lecture to do your intro. 
uh, we'll pick up uh, in a future lecture on some of the conditional processing. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you.